Hey guys, this is Elizabeth. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys about a really awesome party I went to on Friday. It was an older nighter, so it lasted like from Friday night to Saturday morning. I'm pretty sure it was a 17 hour party. And get this, I stayed up all night, like the whole time. That was the awesome part of it. And I think I might have been the only person who did. Like, all my friends were sleepy heads. I was like, you guys are boring. I'm going to stay up all night, you sleepy heads. And um, they thought I was kind of funny. So, um, the party started at Sedlin. Well, technically, I had the youth group it was associated with. They started at Sedlin. And they went from Sedlin to 9, and then the party started at 9. But... Um, I consider that youth group to be kind of like a party because it's always fun and crazy. So yeah, I'm just going to say the party started at 7 on Friday night. And it ended at 12.30 Saturday morning. And we had lunch together and breakfast together. Not in that order, of course. And okay, I'm going to describe some of the fun things we did. Well, first we had the youth group part from 7 to 9, and a lot of my friends were there, and, oh, it was funny because I was like the life of the party, I was the most silly and hyper and crazy, and I had like tons of friends, so I was like, I'm like a local celebrity at my youth groups. So I was like the star of the party, and like everyone was saying hi to me and stuff. And um, <laughs> um, this is probably gonna sound like an exaggeration, but it's not. Um, I took a little notebook and actually handed out autographs there, and I handed out like twenty autographs, and um, there were actually people there who were like fans of me, so it was awesome. And another Earth Sun thing that happened, like, and that involves me being a star, was um, during part of the night, we split up into teams. So, like, this little game tournament thing we did. And my team name was Mario and Luigi Brothers Incorporated. I didn't come up with that, but um, I did come up with the team name. And the team dance. And just the way it happened was so funny. The team name and dance, like, has nothing... I mean, the team dance and the team song has, like, nothing to do with each other. It was just the silliness that I came up with. But the team thought it was hilarious. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, we had just finished discussing our team name and agreed on Mario and Luigi Brothers Incorporated. And then we were trying to think of a team song. And one of my friends, who's almost as silly as me, notice I said almost, because no one is equally silly as me, except Fred, of course. Anyway, one of my friends, who was being silly, he was like, he took off his shoe and started talking on it like it was a phone. And I when he did that this silly song just popped into my head and I just burst out singing it I was like shoe phone shoe phone I'm talking on my shoe phone and our team captain he he just loved it and thought it was awesome and hilarious so he was like that's our team song right there I'm dead serious everybody get up and sing along oh excuse the background noise anyway I don't know if you heard that back background noise, but if you did, excuse it. Well, anyway, um, so, oh yeah, they all thought it was a good team song. They all thought it was funny and awesome and catchy, like it got stuck in their heads. And, um, so then my, um, one of my friends, he remembered like this funny dance I made up that I showed him earlier and um, he really liked it and he thought it was funny so he thought it should be the team dance and he asked me to show it to everyone and 
um, he said, like, combine that awesome dance you showed me earlier with, uh, me, or a shoe thrown song, and I was like, dude, you're a genius, that will be an epic combination, so, um, I stood up, and, oh, the dance, it's called the I Pwn Noobs Dance, and, um, um, I'll try to get a video of it posted maybe sometime, I'm not sure, but it's basically where you, like, hop back and forth and, like, swirl your arms, I mean, swirl your hands, like, in, um, back and forth motions around, like, your, no, um, like, your, just, like, at the level where they are. I don't really know how to describe it, but anyway, I got up and I started singing shoe sewn, shoe sewn, I'm talking on my shoe sewn, shoe sewn, shoe sewn, I'm talking on my shoe sewn, hello, hello, hi, hello, hello, hi, I'm talking on my shoe sewn, hello, hello, hi. And it was a total hit with my team, it was a total hit. They were like laughing their tails off. And and clapping their hands off, and um, so yeah, the some of them danced along, but um, they, they didn't not the people who didn't dance along. It's not that they weren't enthusiastic. It's just like they wanted it, it to be kind of the solo performance for me. So um, we all bit went back into the main room to so. Um, our youth group leader party host thingy person, um, our team name and, um, dance moves and stuff. Oh, and, um, we also had to pick mascots for our team, and our mascot was a shoe, <laughs> because of, you know, the whole shoe zone thing. So, yeah, our mascot wasn't even a person. Um, that tells you how silly it was. And anyway, um, be so, when they were like getting me all fired up for my solo performance, they were like, "You're gonna do a solo performance, and everyone is gonna be watching you, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be awesome, and you're gonna be a rock star, and it's all about you." And I was like, "Yeah, that sounds really good," because um, I'm like um. Uh, the kind of person, if you can't tell, I'm the type of person who's like crazy outgoing and loves to be in the spotlight. So I thought that sounded pretty good. Yeah. So, um, and when I got up on stage and did my solo performance, I rocked. And, um, my team captain was like pointing to me and giving me credit and stuff. And everyone was clapping and laughing and like even the rival teams thought it was pretty awesome and like the rest of the night um a bunch of my friends like throughout the night at random times they would just blurt out shoe zone they'd either blurt out the word shoe zone or they'd be like hey, hey elizabeth shut Show me your shoe zone dance, or hey, Elizabeth, show oh so and so your shoe zone dance. She wants to see it again. She really likes it. Blah blah blah. So yeah, um, that really made me um a local celebrity, and it was pretty cool. Okay. Um. Oh, and of course, this was inevitable for someone with my like crazy hyperactive personality. I got sugar high, boy, big surprise, like, during snack time, um, we had, like, ice cream, uh, chips, and soda, I believe, well, during one of the snack times, and, um, what? Okay. It's just a recording. Okay, sorry for that interruption, folks. Anyway, I got sugar high, and, um, like, I would, I poured some chocolate syrup into a bowl and drank it, and all my friends thought it was hilarious, and, like, the whole time I was sugar high, like, the, the pitch of my voice increased by about 10%, so I sounded like a female thread, 
And like one of my friends, she said, Elizabeth, you have the most high pitched voice I know. I admire it about you. And I just thought that was like a huge compliment to me because I'm sure y'all know how much I like thread. So yeah, that was a huge compliment to me. And um, when it came time for like everyone to go into their little rooms and like snuggle up in their sleeping bags and drift off to dreamland. I was like, like, heck with it. I'm staying up all night long. So I just, I'd either like sit up in my sleeping bag or like just lie down but not sleep. Or a few times I even whispered random things to myself like, corn casserole, don't be a fruitcake. <laughs> and like I even started humming bingo. But I guess um, I was a little loud because the next morning, one of my friends was like, oh my gosh, I officially hate that song now because you were singing it at 6 o'clock in the morning. And anyway, yeah, a few times, like, I was so restless, I even... <sighs> my crazy dad again. Sorry, folks. He can be really interrupted sometimes. Anyway, I then I I was so restless a few times. I then got up and like danced around the room, and my friends were like, the next morning they were all astonished about how much energy I had, cause I wasn't even tired. I was just as hyper as I was last night. I mean, well, not last night, but the night before. You know, sorry if that confused you. So. Oh, another funny thing that happened was two of my friends in the morning, they were, like, tired, but they were being really silly to try to, like, stay awake because it was time to get up and go have breakfast and stuff. So I was laughing at them and saying, you guys are, like, extra silly when you're tired. And they were like, yeah, that's because we're trying to wake up. And I said, well, I'm extra silly 24-7. And my friend was like... Yeah, you can't really get much sillier than you already are. So yeah, it was fun. And um of course when and I left at like twelve thirty, I still wasn't tired. I wasn't tired through breakfast or lunch. Oh, a funny thing that happened at breakfast. I keep thinking of funny things that happened. Probably cause the party was like so off the hook it was full of funniness. Um, okay, I'm about to make a total dork of myself, more than I already have, but I'm gonna tell y'all this, um, I, they had cereal, and orange juice and milk, and I ate my cereal with orange juice. I don't mean, um, I ate the cereal and drank orange juice with it, no, I poured orange juice in the bowl and poured cereal in and ate it like that, and it was good. I was proud of how good it tasted because it was like my own creation of awesome weirdness. And one of my friends, she like took out her camera phone and interviewed me about it. So yeah, she says she might post it, so I don't know, be on the lookout for it. You, you probably won't know it's me if you see it, but... I don't know. She just said she might post it. 